If you ask this question to English teachers or other English learners, they will tell you the same thing. They'll tell you that the best way to build your vocabulary is to learn vocabulary in context by listening and reading a lot. And I completely agree with that. That is the best way to increase your vocabulary. So this is common sense, right? Everybody knows that. This topic is so boring. But there's a problem. Common sense is not common action. Everybody knows how to improve their vocabulary. But most people don't do it because they spend too much time on things like social media and you know. So let's get started. The first benefit you'll get is intuition. What is intuition? Well, let's say that you come across a multiple choice question about English grammar. You look at the choices and you know immediately what the correct answer is. You don't know the grammar rule that explains it. There's no reasoning behind it. It just feels right. That's intuition. It comes from taking in a lot of input by listening and reading. Unfortunately, some people don't appreciate the power of intuition. They learn vocabulary in a very strange way. They don't learn words in context. Instead, they find a list of words and memorize the meaning of each word one by one. Now, this seems like a good idea. They're learning a lot of new words in a short period of time. There's only one problem with this. It's stupid. Just because we know the meaning of a word doesn't mean that we can use it. It's not enough. We also need to know how the word is used. Now, I'm sure that you already know this, right? You're not one of those people. You already know that it's much better to learn vocabulary by listening and reading. Because when you do that, you're not only improving your vocabulary, but also grammar, sentence structure, and so on. And over time, you will become an independent learner. It means that you have the ability to improve your English without help from other people. And that's really cool. Now let's talk about the second benefit of this habit. The second benefit is an increase in brain power. Just like how a muscle needs physical exercise to become stronger, your brain needs mental exercise to grow as well. Regular listening and reading is a great mental exercise. It improves so many brain functions. When you listen to someone speaking, you have to stay focused. This improves your attention. And if they're speaking really fast, you also training your brain to process information faster, which leads to better comprehension. Reading is great too. It improves your memory. When you read a novel, you need to remember lots of details like the names of the characters, their backgrounds, the plot, and so on. Some books even increase your intelligence. Reading certain types of books improves the way you think. And these are just a few benefits. There are so many other benefits that I didn't even mention here. Now you might be thinking, why should I care about my brain power? Well, because it will play a huge role in your English language development, especially if you're trying to improve your spoken English. For non-native speakers like you and I, speaking English requires a lot of effort. It places great demands on so many cognitive functions like memory, attention, auditory processing, reasoning, and so on. So if you want to speak English well, you're going to need to have a strong, healthy brain with lots of power. And by the way, if you're not living in an English-speaking country, this habit is a must. And I'm speaking from my personal experience here.